Hey water signs, what is going on? So I decided to do a spread for you guys today. So this is gonna look at the energy for Scorpio Cancer Pisces from now until the end of September. For those who are newly dating someone, could be online, could be in person, whatever the hell you want, water signs, all right? So it'll be a three card spread and I'm gonna use one clarifier per card. We're gonna take a look at the first card, water signs, will be who is this person? that you're newly dating or talking to. The second card is what energy are they gonna be bringing towards you over the next couple weeks until the end of September. The third card is will it be a hit or miss? Water signs, is it going to work out? This is energy from now until the end of September 2018. Water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces who are newly dating or talking to someone. Universe, show me first card who this person is that the water signs are dating. Second card, what's the energy they're bringing towards the water signs? And the third card, will it be a hit or miss? Will it be a hit or miss within this connection for the good old water signs from now until the end of December? All right, you guys. Hey, you guys, I'm still taking personal readings, so click below. You'll get all my information. Give me a shout if you want a, a personal reading. The September special is still the How Do They Feel spread for $40. I'm also on Instant Go, um, Water and Fire Tarot over there. All my services are on there as well. So please let me know if I can help you guys. As always, this is a general reading, okay? But we are going to look at those who are newly dating or talking to someone. Water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Who is this person? Second card, what are they bringing? Second, third card, is it gonna be a hit or miss from now until the end of September with this person? So let's cut it and get to it, water signs. All right, so the first card is who is this person that you're newly dating? The Knight of Wands in reverse. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Want, 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 they're in the reverse. Be careful, all right? This could be a player. This could be somebody you can't really rely on, a little bit fickle, they're in and they're out. Sometimes they just come in for sex, one night stand type energy, all right? What's the energy they're bringing towards you, water signs? The fool in reverse. Aries energy, so the fool in reverse is not really about a commitment. They're not really taking a risk to take a relationship to the next level. Can be a commitment phobe, not wanting to take some type of leap of faith. It could be it's just kind of a passionate one night stand, sex only relationship. Is it gonna be a hit or miss for the next couple of weeks? And we have the five of pentacles in reverse. So, you know, it's kind of that feeling. It could be somebody that you've already dealt with, right? And you're talking to them newly again. They come back around. Um, they're coming back in from the cold. You're happy to welcome them back, especially if it's somebody that you wanted to come back, right? But be careful because, again, they may have this energy of they zoom in and then they leave really fast, maybe just for passion, that kind of thing. I get the feeling that this person is probably a commitment phobe. And from now until the end of September, it's probably a hit because with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it's probably somebody that you would want to come back, right? They're, you're coming back from being out, left out in the cold or they are, right? But just be careful of the energy. I don't think it'll turn into like a long-term commitment or anything, at least from now until the end of September. But I think that it's going to give you that sense of feeling pretty good if they shut you out, right? Or if you shut them out. So, universe, clarify these areas for the water signs who are newly talking or dating somebody right now from now until the end of September. First card is who is this person? Second card is the energy they're bringing towards the water signs. And the last card is will it be a hit or a miss for the water signs and this person from now until the end of September. Let's clarify, all right? Also too, it doesn't have to be somebody from the past. The five pentacles in reverse can just be that feeling of, wow, this person makes me feel good again. You know what I mean? Maybe I've been single for a while, I'm newly dating them or talking to them or whatever, and they give me that warm, fuzzy feeling. But just know they may not be about a commitment, okay? So let's clarify. This first card here is who is this person? Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, it could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. 
Leo Sag Aries, but they're night. So they're kind of, you know, knights are always in pursuit. They're coming, they're going. But the Knight of Wands in reverse, again, it's just somebody you can't really rely on for a long-term commitment. They might just be hopping in and hopping right back out, water signs. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So they're kind of trying to like, the Seven of Swords could be like they leave, right? They sneak away or they're not telling you something. They might be deceptive deceptive in some way. It doesn't always have to be bad. You know what I mean? Like a lot of you guys, if you are newly dating somebody, you're not, you know, maybe you're not looking for a long-term commitment. The, but this prop, this person probably isn't either, all right? The energy they're bringing is the Fool in Reverse, kind of Aries, a lot of Aries energy. Why is the Fool in Reverse here for this person's energy? Why is the Fool here? Why is this Fool here, please? And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the energy they're bringing is a lack of a, of a commitment, not really taking a leap of faith in some way, but the, with, with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's just, it's the universe stepping in, drastic changes coming in. There might be some things going on in their life that are causing a lot of unforeseeable changes beyond their control, and so they're just not really looking for a commitment right now. They're going through a lot of changes, probably good changes in their life, which may be why they don't want like a long-term commitment. Most likely outcome from now until the end of September, whether this will be a hit or miss, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So there's this energy of feeling good, right? Coming in from the cold, having that warm, fuzzy feeling. Why is this Five of Pentacles here for the water signs outcome? And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could leave you or the other person, probably you, feeling a little bit scorned, a little bit resentful. Sometimes I think of the Queen and King of Swords as an ex doesn't have to be. Again, you guys, this can be a totally new energy here. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles as, you know, is it a hit or a miss? Well, yeah, it's, it's a hit because you're coming in from the cold. You know, you're getting that warm feeling again. <clears throat> but when you find out that they don't want a commitment, it might leave you a little pissed, water signs, a little bit feeling scorned or hurt with the Queen of Swords. And watch your communication there because sometimes the Queen of Swords in reverse she can be quite cutting with that communication, okay? Let's clarify that again. Why is the Queen of Swords here for whether this will be a hit or miss for water signs? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? And Death in Reverse, a sign of Scorpio, but just unwilling to change. There's not a change going on here, right? And it could leave you guys kind of pissed. I don't think this person is going to be willing to change their ways here. They're coming in, they kind of have that flighty energy, kind of just wanting passion, and then they leave again. They're not dependable or reliable. They could be just coming in for that, sneaking away, or not telling you something, right? Um, and again, they just don't want a commitment or they don't want to take some type of risk full in reverse, probably going through some changes in their life right now. Bring, you know, it's good fortune, but it's unforeseeable changes that happen quickly beyond their control. Hit or miss. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a hit because you're, you're going to feel pretty good. Five of pentacles in reverse, um, whether this is a new person or not, um, I am concentrating on new connections. So I think that this person coming in just kind of makes you feel good, right? But with the Queen of Swords in reverse, clarifying it, you know, you might be kind of scorned or pissed if you're looking for a commitment and this person isn't. And I just don't think that they're going to be willing to change their ways, you know, kind of set in their ways, set in their old patterns, death in reverse. Could be two for some of you, yes, you know, somebody from the past. Um, you've had dealings with here and maybe you were hurt or scorned in the past but just know they might come in and make you feel pretty good but whether it's new or old you know there you're not going to be probably real happy with the outcome so just be careful of kind of that in and out flighty energy they may just want passion and trying to sneak away or, or deceive you in some way because they're definitely not about a commitment water signs all right y'all take care and i will talk to you soon